Here we have a new 2024 Buick Enclave. This one comes in the Essence trim level with all wheel drive and the sport touring package. This color is ebony twilight metallic. And then we get the dark galvanized leather interior with the ebony accents. And the powertrain consists of a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine. And that's made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. But as we come around to the front end here, we do get LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. And I remember when these first came out, I was not sure about this front end, but I've grown to love it, especially with this mesh grill here in this black, it looks stunning. Just an aggressive yet luxurious and subtle look in my opinion. And these wheels are kind of dirty, so please excuse me, but these are gonna be 20 inch aluminum wheels. Love the gloss black. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then we have our power door lock controls here, power mirror controls here. We can turn those on and off, and then we can adjust either side using that dial, rear window lock, and then we have one touch automatic up and down for the driver's side, and then one touch express down for the other three windows, which I really like, so I'm not rolling my kid's hand up on accident. But tons of storage here, bottle holder, Power lift gate control, we can set that to off three fourths of the way up or all the way up and we can open and shut it by clicking that button. We have an electronic parking brake, which we can press to engage and then hit the brake, press it again to disengage. Brightness for the gauge cluster, hood release. And then here's the release for your, release for your manual tilt telescope steering wheel. And here's our power driver's seat. I believe that's an eight way seat with two way power lumbar support. But I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So we're gonna check out the rear seats. And a huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Enclave today. I'll leave a link below to the vehicle in the description. But it's kind of a glare and this back glass is tinted. So hopefully y'all can see this. Pause anywhere you need to. But with the Sport Touring Package, $17.95 option, then $4.95 for the Ebony Twilight Metallic. Stickers right at $49.585. But another thing, I think one of my uh, subscribers let me know this, a lot of these vehicles from GM particularly, like the front two seats are actual leather, but the rest of the seats are apparently vinyl. So just something to keep in mind there. Still feels nice, but you can definitely tell a difference if you're looking for it. But great leg room back here, great headroom as well. So you could sit someone in my size, 6'3", maybe a little taller back here with no issue. And I love that we have the seat back pockets on both sides. And then we do have automatic rear AC controls. So we have a way to change where the airflow is coming from. We can set our auto mode there and then turn that down by adjusting fan speed to USB-A charge ports there and then we can adjust temperature here as well and there's a look at the third row so a little bit of leg room back there we can adjust this seat back and forth too love that we have the premium dome lights throughout or reading lights and then grab handle here we can hang one plastic hanger maybe two metal hangers on that hook there just how it's set up Let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. Fuel filler there. And here's the back end. There's a look underneath the vehicle. I like the dual exhaust. And the button for the lift gate is right over there. And then here, we can fold this third row down just by pulling up on the strap here and then pushing that and it'll fold flat when the seat's up front or in the second row or up far enough. And we do have a USB-A charge port on either side of the third row as well as the cup holder and then a storage pocket. And a 12 volt here.
And then to fold the seat flat, all we have to do is pull up here. And then we can run longer objects with the third row down all the way to the front if we ever need to do that. But with the cabinet chairs, you shouldn't have that issue because you do have that space in the middle. But to this front passenger seat, I believe this is a six-way power seat and we still get the two-way power lumbar support. So that is great. And then we have the nice run-through pocket where you can hide your purse or whatever. And then there's a 12 volt there. Glove compartment here. Decent size actually. And again, this is the Essence trim level, but I love how they kind of threw the carbonized look there in the actual door trim. It makes it look that much fancier. But mostly covered up there, there's a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6. But now let's hop in the driver's seat. So love the leather wrap steering wheel here. Feels nice, you can heat that. Button's right there. To the radio here, we do get AM, FM, XM, along with Bluetooth, and then we have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto compatibility, Wi-Fi hotspot, and then we do have dual zone automatic climate controls. I like using the screen here. It's pretty easy, pretty responsive. You can choose fan direction, all that, set the auto mode, and then turn the auto mode off, just adjust the fan speed. And then again, you can just decide where the airflow is coming from. And then I like that you can adjust that there and then sync very easily and then you can get that passenger side to go back to the driver's side. But to the buttons around, lane keep assist with lane departure, parking sensors, hazards, and then all wheel drive, which I'm gonna leave the all wheel drive mode on for now. And then we do have the auto stop toggle there. And then down here, I can pull up, push this button and then I'll pull up those climate controls as well on the screen. Cause there's only so much you can do from the buttons down below but auto, you can do that. And then the vents, you can do that as well. And then defrosters here, three-stage heated seats for the front. And then volume knob, click that to mute, and then you can use it, you can press it more, press it longer to power the system down, excuse me. And then we can do the rear climate from the screen as well. And then settings are here. So language, you can change that there, time and date there, and uh, pair your Bluetooth hit add phone walks you right through it just make sure you're in your bluetooth settings whether you have iphone or an android I'm just going to go through these settings so you know where everything is and then backup cameras there guidelines follow as you turn the steering wheel and then down here we have an sd card reader usb c and usb a port wireless charging pad and then for the shifter, it's all push button. So press P for park, pull up here for reverse, press N for neutral, pull up here for drive, and then press L for that low gear. And you can manually shift in that low mode there. And it'll show you what gear you're in that bottom right hand corner of the gauge cluster. Cup holders, center console, cubby space, removable tray, pretty good storage in there. And then a quick look at the back seat from up here. And then back up top, sunglasses holder, universal home remote, OnStar. But back to the steering wheel, blinkers are here. We can toggle our auto high beams on and off there on the side. And then headlamp controls, low beams, corners, auto, and then we can toggle the auto on and off by pulling there. And then when the low beams are on, we can toggle the high beams there and then flash there. And then right side, we have our windshield wiper controls one time and then off, intermittent, low, high. And then we can adjust our intermittent here. And then we have a rear wiper as well. So we could turn this intermittent on and then pull back for the rear wiper fluid, push out for the front wiper fluid. And then our cruise controls are here. Turn that on and off there. We can cancel, set, or toggle the speed down or resume, or toggle the speed up. And then for a collision alert gap adjust, we can adjust that there. And then voice recognition, Bluetooth control. This is also a mute button where you're not using your phone. And then we can go through our gauge cluster using this scroll bar as well as these arrows. So these arrows will help you go through the sub menus 
And then within each sub menu, you can scroll with the scroll bar here and we can change our units from US to metric in the options but options page, excuse me, and then we can change the info page so we can decide, let's see, I don't wanna necessarily see my air filter life or the timer, but I wanna see the follow distance. And you can just configure that the way you want to and that's what'll show up here. So that's all set for what I like to see. And then behind the steering wheel on the left side, we can go through our track list, radio station presets. Behind the steering wheel on the right side, we can toggle our volume up, down. And there's our push button start. Finally, here's the key file with remote start. And next is go ahead and take this 2024 Enclave Essence with all wheel drive out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this 24 Enclave, not very many changes, really none that are specifically noticeable from the 23 model. But I do like how this one is optioned out, having the Essence package and then also having that Sport Touring Edition. But only thing that's missing for me is the cooled seats and then probably the adaptive cruise control. So for another few thousand dollars to get that, I would definitely do it that way. But for a lot of people, this is gonna be a really good option if you don't wanna necessarily get a car that stickers over 50,000, but you still want something that looks good, rides well, has great sound acoustics in the cabin. And I do like having the all-wheel drive as well. Let's see what our fuel economy is looking like. So it's showing us 25 miles per gallon right now. And then as we start to hit this incline, it goes down a little bit. And then as we start to level out, it'll probably show that 26, 27. But all in all, ride quality is pretty good. I'm feeling just a little bit and then hearing a little bit from these 20 inch wheels, but nothing intrusive at all. It's just something I'm noticing. But again, ride quality is pretty good. It's a Buick as it should be, so. And I like the overall just driving feel of this vehicle because a lot of people who get Buicks, they want something that rides well, that drives nicely, but doesn't necessarily drive sporty, but it's still You know it still drives relatively well and this checks all the boxes there in terms of steering feel brake pedal feel all of that now in terms of the price point you could look at a nissan pathfinder maybe a toyota highlander something along those lines but this is meant to be again more of a luxury vehicle so to be around that fifty thousand dollar price point and to be in that luxury class certainly isn't bad at all i will say the only thing that i find kind of weird and i don't know if other manufacturers do this as well but just having the front seats be leather and then having the back two rows be that kind of leatherette vinyl feel that's that's interesting to me especially on a buick but a lot of bmw's mercedes vehicles are asking astronomical money and they have the leatherette interior in them as well so but i will say i feel like this is one of the better riding vehicles in the class of course i think with it being a buick they 
kind of pride themselves in providing that and that's kind of a that's kind of at the forefront of what they're trying to provide to the customer when making a vehicle like this but I like the exterior design how the interior is laid out not as many features as I would like but I mean I do get blind spot monitoring I get the forward collision alert the follow distance indicator so pretty much everything I need I would just like to have adaptive cruise control and then cool seats but you might be able to take out the sport touring edition and then add that package or something like that so but again just driving down this road here can't say enough about just the sound acoustics in the cabin fantastic it's riding very nicely relatively quiet in here so certainly a good option if you're looking for something like this a three-row suv that's not necessarily as big as a tahoe but is roomy practical and looks good but this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Bu or 2024 excuse me buick enclave